Hi, this is Yanni from JDrones. On this video, I will be uh, doing unboxing for agriculture camera and talking a little bit about the camera more. So let's get going. Okay, um, if you're working on, on, on agriculture drones, agriculture multicopters and others, you always need to have a good one camera, especially multi-spectrum camera. What you can do with the multi-spectrum camera is that you can uh, study how your crops are working and others. One of my friend Ingo from, from uh, Netherlands, he has a uh, great company called DP, uh, what was it? DP, DP2 Vision. Uh, and then, uh, they are making a, a custom made and special kind of for um, agriculture multi-spectrum cameras and, and Ingo he sent me one of the, his cameras so we can uh, build a, a multicopter drone around this one and now let's look at what we have inside on the box so overall the box is pretty nice um strong uh, i think it might be even waterproof ip65 something like that at least when it's closed uh nice color so you don't lose it when you uh, throw it in your uh, trunk or whatever okay so, what do we have in here? Uh, mount plate that you can mount under your drone. Uh, put it there. Then we have some cables, micro USB cable for charging. Then we have a, 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 a video and, and the trigger cable so you can connect on your uh, camera. Uh, we do have a sensor. We, this one sensor is a light sensor and it has also GPS inside. Um, oh yeah, then we have the camera itself. I will look a bit more that one later. So let's take, that's the, the holding bracket for the camera. And um, let's go on the second one where I can put this, okay, let's put it over there. So second layer, we have a USB charger. That's nice. Um, what is it? Uh, two amps. Uh, it's actually a pretty strong USB charger. And the nice thing on this one charger is that people at the DP Vision, DP2 Vision, they include a adapters for, for European plugs if you want to use in Europe. Uh, they have a, um, this is a, uh, UK style blocks like for in UK, Hong Kong and other, other similar countries. So you can use that one and then of course we do have the Chinese model if you are if you are in a China and on, on the adapter itself you have the normal uh, American standard what we also are using here in Thailand. Let's put it over there and then last but not least we have some rubber dampeners and lock bits. So let's put the box away there. Open this one. Okay, back over there. So now on on the camera itself, uh, we do have well. There's a small display which is touch display that you can do the configuration of others. Uh, this camera is a little bit bigger than than GoPro. But uh, what I know, they are currently working on a new camera, which is going to be about the same size like a GoPro, which is more convenient when you flying a smaller one drone. But if you're flying a bigger one drone, like for 800 millimeters or whatever, this size is not a problem. And, and I know that people have been flying this, this size camera already on just like for 3 d solos and others. So even, even on a smaller one drone, you can, you can easily have, have this one size. So all the connections what we have, well, power button, uh, we have a GPS uh, signal lights in here, charging. We do have a, a micro SD cards. Uh, USB for charging, uh, trigger and video output, and then the sensor. The sensor overall, it goes there. And this one, when the when the camera is under your drone, the sensor is on top of your drone. Why? Okay, first of all, to have a good one view on the uh, for the satellites for the GPS. 
Then the other one thing is that this one sensor have a light sensor that when you're flying, your drone is flying along the field or whatever, wherever you're flying, uh, you might, oh, uh, it, it doesn't, you might have, you have often a little bit different kind of uh, fluctuation on the lights. There might be uh, clouds blocking uh, the sun or whatever. So sometimes the picture, uh, what the camera is taking might be a little bit darker. Sometimes it's a little more brighter. So this one sensor actually helps the camera electronics to compensate and trying to make all your pictures to be about same level, which is a really nice when you do the final stitching and, and uh, uh, combine your, your uh, agriculture uh, imaging. There. Um, then the other one cable, uh, this is the second one. Uh, there's the video output and you can configure this camera to take the pictures by certain distances. But if you have a clever autopilot, just like for Ardu pilot, uh, and then you're running Arduino plane or Arduino software. You can you can define that I want to have uh, pictures per every meter. So then you can connect uh, one of the servo outputs from your autopilot to this uh, trigger pins in here, and and help the autopilot to make the triggering. It's a little bit big one connector currently uh, because originally. This one camera was meant like for bigger one use, but now because it's so good one and uh, so uh, competitive uh, against the other competition uh, cameras, what we have like for uh, Seguia and others. So, so it hasn't fully uh, made for, for drones yet, but I know that people are now working at the DP2 Vision to making a new version of this one and this cable is going to be changed soon. Uh, there's going to be a small uh, drone code uh, standard base, a GH, a JST GH connector in here having uh, power and videos and triggers and uh, maybe even UAV can in the future. So let's see, let's see. Let's see what guys are coming up. So Overall, how you put this one under your drone? Well, you have the tray, the camera goes inside the tray like that. And then you have this uh, mounting bracket. It goes in here like that. And then it locks there. And now you have to have under your drone, you need to have a mounting plate where you actually put these rubbers. I just don't put them now inside, but you know the idea overall when you're doing like anti-vibrations and others. So these four rubbers are going to be in every corner and then they are mounting under the drone. And, and these ones, basically you just put through this rubber dampers and, and you, can, you can lock that, Let me, if I can put it, let's put it that way there. So, so you, you can use you can use these locks to make sure that the camera won't fall down if you have sudden wind gusts or whatever. So, so this will hold it securely. The other ways, of course, like on, on traditional way that you might have, let's say, um, a small cable, a light cable, uh, wire or, or cable by something like that one at least in one corner Us usually people are making that they have it in, in two corners opposite corners to make sure that if uh, the rubber dampeners are somehow getting uh, open at least the camera don't fall down so yeah um, in your was making a nice conference uh, video or conference uh, talks, uh, keynote talk a uh, while back in, in Wuxi. And, and I will be posting that one uh, and adding it on, on the description under here so you can look about that one and what are they doing in and uh, what is their background and others. And also I will be putting all the other information down on the description of this camera and links from where you can order it and where, how you can use it. And um, later on when we have the full fully designed drone around this one, we will do another review of that one. So till then, see you. Bye-bye and... and
fly safe, fly hard.